This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Introducing my Godox lights, the 8600, the 400, the 300, and the 200. These two are, I'm not going to talk about these two. I'm talking about these two. These are my portable options, and this is my favorite new portable flash. It's almost perfect, but it has one flaw that I don't like about it when I used it in the real world. Now, let's talk about some of the inconveniences of a setup like this. This is a very popular flash, the 8200, but it's dependent on an adapter because this doesn't have an actual mount for a flash. I have no complaint about this adapter other than the fact that I forget this sometimes. I forget this in the trunk of my car or at home. I bought this flash specifically because it has a built-in mount for a modifier and this is not what you think it is. I, it's not a Bowens mount. This is like a Godox mount. I want you to take a look at a Bowens mount compared to this Godox one. It's a lot smaller than the Bowens mount and what that allows me to do is when I these modifiers here watch this okay this is this was not a good idea <laughs> do you see the difference in the bowens mount it's so much wider than the godox one and you see what that allows this modifier to do is be become more portable right so watch this look how thin this modifier is i could attach it to the side of my camera bag and not even know it's there super light and it's the same size as this west guy i believe it's like a 36 inch and this one is a lot bigger and bulkier. Well, it's not like much bigger, but it's still a lot bulkier than that one is. And I, I love that. So I like that it has the thinner mount. I have to buy new modifiers, which is a downside, but I do like that it, it adds more portability to this setup. But also look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. It fits in like a lens pouch. Look how I could carry my camera, my lens and my light all in the same place. That is, to me, very, very important. With the 8200, that fits in there too, but now I gotta struggle putting that in there, right? Usually I gotta carry that outside of my camera bag. So this is my new favorite portable flash. I think it's absolutely worth the price. It does have, it's about a half a stop less power than the 8400, which is my previous favorite flash. About a half a stop more than the 8200. So you're getting a little bit more power I still feel like you can't put this far away from a model because you're not going to in bright sunlight. You have to have it somewhat close. You have it is what it is. It's a small, compact flag. My only con, the only con of this light is right here. This see this. This is what you turn to like lock the flash in place. So if I want to angle it down, I have to turn this to lock it with the modifier. The problem with this. Well, let's take a look at this. You see this one, this knob. It's bigger, it's sturdier, and it's a lot more sturdy. The flash does not wobble. Same with this one, same with this bracket. I never had problems with the flash moving, wobbling. With this little knob here, I found that sometimes the flash will start to move and sag down, and then that means I gotta readjust it and re-tighten it. To demonstrate what I mean, I'm gonna tighten this up as much as possible. I tighten this up, watch this. You know, you gotta move your box around while you're on location. You're putting it here, you're putting it here, you're changing the model's pose. Look, look, look how it sags. And that was on full tightness. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, watch this. Look how easy that is to make it sag. If you're gonna use this as a dedicated unit with a modifier built or attached directly on it, it's gonna be really, it's gonna be really annoying to always have to make these adjustments. 
All right, so here's the 8200 with the Borns mount adapter. Look at this. And I'm doing it a lot harder than the 300. It doesn't sag at all. I can push down on it like I did the other one. There's no sag because this is a lot more sturdy and it's not gonna be doing that to you. I just feel like I wish they would give, somehow put this onto here and I feel like this could be the perfect flash for on location shoots. I love the portability, I love the power output. I The price is okay, it's $500, but you're gonna buy this and you're gonna be so happy and you're gonna buy this and you can have this setup here, These this setup for less than $600. For me, that is a steal for a portable flash setup in my opinion. So let's get into the big boy really quick, my opinion. The 8600, the Explorer 600, this flash, if you're shooting like groups of people, this is going to be the one because you're going to have it backed up really far. If you're doing single portrait shoots, I would only get this if you're shooting like if you want to stop action because you're going to need that recycle time. That's what I would get this for. I haven't used this in over a year because it just, it's what, like five, six pounds, really big and heavy. This was previously my favorite flash, the 8400. I feel like it's like it's a pound and a half lighter it's got this nice handle here that i can i can carry it around with um plenty of power really good recycle times but again this does not fit in there i want so i sound spoiled i want everything my flash and everything to fit in one bag this does not cut it so i'm gonna keep it of course this is i love this flash but this one is gonna be my new on location flash if you're looking for something that you want to carry around but you don't want to always have a wagon with you or have someone help you this com this combined with this is the perfect little setup i was thinking about it and there's actually one more solution that i can come up with if you don't want to deal with the sagging flash problem with this unit you can buy the bracket for this one right specifically for this one and that's going to allow you to use not only the bowens mount modifiers the larger one the more readily available um, soft boxes and knocker boxes or modifiers. And you can also use these Godox ones, these more portable ones. So it gives you more options. Just don't forget it at home like I do. Cause I have a really bad habit of always forgetting something, <sighs> SD cards, batteries, you name it. Like I, I have forgotten everything and I'm gonna try to use this as much as possible and uh, let's see how it works out. Now, I want to send a quick shout out to my sponsor for this video, and that is Squarespace. If you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, give Squarespace a try. I've been using them for years. I love how high quality my work looks on the website compared to other ones. Super easy to change the templates on them. You don't have to freaking call uh, your tech friend to switch up these templates because it's so easy. Just a click of a button. And I have an online store where I have my Lightroom presets and my retouching tutorial. I sell all of that stuff on there and it's a great way to make extra income on the side. Okay, so if you're interested, use the coupon code MANNY and you will get 10% off your purchase.